Right, here is a question from Mariam. Says, hi Tabitha, would you please talk about emotions and anorexia? I mean our reactions when we are sick. For me, when I was sick, I was unable to smile, laugh or even cry. I felt that I didn't have the mood and also the ability to do so. I am better now, but I want to know why we could experience something like that with anorexia. Thanks in advance. And some people have commented on this and some people have also commented um, with uh, their observations that their pain tolerance is a lot higher when they had an eating disorder. And I do, I think I wrote about this in one of my books or some of them, the pain tolerance thing, absolutely. And the way I look at that is because as far as your body is concerned, it believes that resources are scarce. Sorry, the cat is mental. As far as your body is concerned, it believes that resources are scarce and um, the you know, you're in the apocalypse, basically. And if you're in the apocalypse, it's kind of serious, isn't it? You know, you can't just be running around giggling, can you? You know, you're in the apocalypse and it's all about survival. That's the thing. When we're in energy deficit, nothing is particularly funny as far as the body is concerned because it's really in survival mode. Think about it from your body's point of view. There is not enough food in the environment. There is absolutely nothing funny about that situation because food, water, oxygen, without those three things, body dies. So it takes it kind of seriously. And that's what I mean when I say that when we are in energy deficit, our bodies are under biological stress. It's the most serious situation you can put your body in. And so it's not really very funny, is it? And that is why most of us are miserable when we have an eating disorder in every sense of the word. Um, lack of sense of humour, all of those things. Um, now, if you think about all of the films that are about sort of apocalyptic stuff, all of the people that are in those films, they're kind of humorless, aren't they? And they're kind of, yeah, a bit like I was when I had an eating disorder. Take Sarah Connor, for example, in Terminator. Not a giggler, is she? Like, she just runs around being badass but she's not exactly fun is she not the sort of person you're like oh I'd like to go and hang out with her at a bar she's a bit scary which most of us are when we have an eating disorder as well um and look at her high pain tolerance it's because she has to desperate times call for desperate measures right and so that's sort of I think one of the most beautiful things about recovery is you go from being Sarah Connor in Terminator which is basically a miserable bitch to being not <laughs> to being somebody who can giggle and see the lighter side of life and see the brighter side of life and be more optimistic and basically not have your head in a dark hole the whole time because that's another part of it when I had an eating disorder I was never saw the bright side of things I was just not very laid back um everything was a catastrophe you know the sort of things like little things happen it's just a bit like oh well that was shit but never mind but in my brain it would be the end of the fucking world and I'd be all stressed about it and all anxious about it and I would drag everybody else down with me and I didn't even like being that person at all anyway it was miserable being me um and that's one of the beautiful things about recovery is it's like that lifts off and that's not just a coincidence, it's because what we do when we go through recovery is we remove the biological stress from our bodies. We take our bodies out of being biologically stressed and desperate. And with that, our bodies become healthier. And with that, we become happier. So it's not sort of some big mystery as to why we're all miserable twats when we have eating disorders. It's because your body is miserable and it's stressed. Um, and on the pain threshold thing, well, it really makes sense that if you've got to survive the apocalypse, you can't be running around going, ow, my thumb hurts, can you? What's the point of pain? You're not going to be able to do anything about it. You've got to keep going. And so our pain threshold rises and our ability to feel pain or in a meaningful way. So I would say that I was able to feel pain when I had an eating disorder, but not in a meaningful way. So if my foot hurt, which it often did, I still go running. I could feel the pain but it wasn't being translated into my head to maybe I should not go running today. Or if it was, that was being completely rejected and as an idea and ignored. And so after a while, your body gets sort of a bit like that 
pain signal's just going to dull. It doesn't mean your foot doesn't hurt anymore. It just means you've been ignoring it long enough. So what's the point? So that, that changes as well. So, you know, now if I feel pain, I wouldn't say, I'd say that my pain um, threshold is still quite high, but it means something. If something hurts, I'm going to go, oh, that hurts. I better not use it for a while. God, you know, like what a revelation. Um, and so all of these change as our bodies move out of apocalyptic phase, out of survival mode and into, ah, <sighs> can just relax and be a human being mode. All right. Happy Friday. Bye.